What? You want to hear more about great neighborhoods in Plano? Well, you're in luck. That's what we're talking about today. So stay tuned. Welcome back. I'm Kelly Vaughn with the Vaughn team and Keller Williams. Thank you for joining us. Today we're talking about five more great neighborhoods in the city of Plano. If you missed our first video on great neighborhoods in Plano, it's linked right up here, so check it out. But let's talk about some more great neighborhoods. The first neighborhood on our list is a neighborhood called the Cloisters. Now the Cloisters is located in sort of central Plano and right now the average sale price is about $390,000. These are ranch style homes that were primarily built in the 70s and 80s and the average size of these houses is about 2,300 square feet. They're about four bedrooms, two bath. Average age was built in 1973. Right now, the days on market in this neighborhood is about um, running about five days on market for homes that are for sale. And homes in this neighborhood are averaging about 101% of list to sale price. So it's a very active, very popular neighborhood. In the Cloisters, um, kids are gonna go to Plano Independent School District. There are a couple of different elementary schools that serve this neighborhood. Those are Shepherd, Jackson, and Stinson Elementary Schools. Um, all the kids will go to Wilson Middle School, Vines High School, and Plano Senior High School. Um, if you missed our video on Plano Independent School District, um, it's linked right up here, those, and it's also linked down in the description box. And that video is gonna give you a little bit of a better idea of how Plano Independent School District works and um, a little bit more about how the grade distribution is done per school, um, different amenities and class types that you can take in Plano ISD. So check that video out. The next neighborhood we're talking about is Dallas North Estates. Dallas North Estates is located off of um, 15th Street and Alma Drive, very close to what used to be Collin Creek Mall. Um, that is currently being redeveloped into a kind of a hybrid residential shopping area. So um, if you live in that area, keep your eyes peeled. It's gonna be very exciting what's going on with um, what used to be Collin Creek Mall. Dallas North Estates, um, these homes are also gonna be pretty much ranch style homes. The average age is these homes were built in the 1970s. Um, the median sales price right now is about $365,000. Homes average about 2,100 square feet. And right now homes in Dallas North Estates are going about six days on market and getting about 103% of list to sale price. So um, another very popular neighborhood. Um, one note, um, a little bit of uh, <laughs> learn from me. Um, if you buy a home that is um, older, you know, 1960s, 1970s, be sure to check the plumbing underneath the house. Make sure that it has been replaced from the original cast iron to um, PVC. That will save you a lot of money in both um, plumbing repairs and foundation repairs. So just a little, little pro tip right there. I know from experience. Um, homes in Dallas North Estates are served by Sigler Elementary School, Shepherd Elementary School, Weatherford Elementary School, Vines High School, Wilson Middle School, and Plano Senior High School. So again, similar, um, the, the neighborhood that we talked about before, the Cloisters and Dallas North Estates are very close to each other. So they have some, uh, some overlap in schools. 
Uh, the thing about Dallas North Estates that makes it really unique is it is also the home of the Texas Pool. Now, the Texas Pool is on the landmark of historical, it's on the registry of historical landmarks because it is a community swimming pool that is shaped like the state of Texas. Um, the Texas Pool is a 168,000 gallon saltwater pool. It is also the home to a community garden a little free food pantry and a little free lending library. So um, the um, if you want more information on the Texas pool, there's a link down in the description box. You can take a look. Um, it is a membership based pool. So you do have to um, purchase a membership annually, but it's super affordable. And um, it is also one of the only public pools in the area that allows mer fins. So if your kid is obsessed with mermaids and swimming like a mermaid, they can do that at the Texas pool. Next on our list is the community of Kings Ridge. Kings Ridge is located in far north west Plano on the border with the colony. It is about 280 homes. The median sales price right now is $763,000. The median home size is about 4,100 square feet. Um, homes generally are four bedroom, three and a half bath. Were built in 2004 and are averaging about five days on market and 103% list to sale price. Um, Kings Ridge is served by Louisville Independent School District. So kids that live in Kings Ridge are gonna go to Hicks Elementary School, Arbor Creek Middle School, and Hebron High School. What makes Kings Ridge unique is that in the past, it has been the home of Plano's largest national neighborhood, national night out um, celebration for several years. Um, it has several ponds in the neighborhood there are two swans that live in one of the ponds and those swans are cared for by the neighbors in the community. Um, they take up a collection to um, make sure that those swans are well fed. And the next neighborhood on our list is the Hills at Prestonwood. Now the Hills at Prestonwood is on the west side of Plano. It is west of the Dallas North Tollway. Home median sales price right now is about $495,000. Home median size is 2,600 square feet. These homes average in age. They were built around the 1990s, the mid 90s. Um, Prest Hills at Prestonwood is 725 homes in the neighborhood. It is um, a golf community. So um, the uh, clubs at Prestonwood the um, the Hills Clubhouse is right in the center of the neighborhood. So if you are a golfer and love to play the um, Prestonwood courses, the Hills at Prestonwood is a great one. And the club house, the, the, the Hills Clubhouse is right in the middle of the community. It is also really near the um, Arbor Hills Nature Preserve. The nature preserve is on the edge of the community, so you can walk to it and enjoy that beautiful Plano um, amenity. And we've got a video linked down in the description box that mentions Arbor Hills as one of the great features of Plano, so you can check that out. Um, this neighborhood is served by both Louisville Independent School District and Plano Independent School District, depending on where in the neighborhood you live. If you live on the side that's served by Louisville Independent School District, your kids are going to go to Homestead Elementary, Hedrick Middle School, and Hebron High School. If you live on the side that is Plano Independent School District, your kids are going to go to Berkner Elementary, Renner Middle School, Shepton High School, and Plano West Senior High School. Next on our list is a little bit of a different community. It is the definition of an urban live, work, play community, and that is the townhomes at Legacy Town Center. 
the shops at Legacy is sort of right along the um, edge of the community. So if you love really great shopping and dining, the shops at Legacy is perfect for you. If you want to live in, live where you work, live where you play, um, the townhomes at Legacy Town Center are great. These townhomes were built around 2006, depending on um, which phase of the development that you're in. The median sales price right now is $434,000. These are three-story townhomes with an average of three bedrooms and three and a half bathrooms, about 2,000 square feet in size. Um, the median um, days on market right now is 13, and um, sellers are generally getting a, right at 100% of their asking price. This neighborhood is split between Frisco Independent School District and Plano Independent School District. And if you're on the Frisco side, your kids are gonna go to Spears Middle School, Hunt Middle School, or Clark Middle School. And they're either gonna go to Frisco High School or Lebanon Trails High School. This neighborhood is great because it's got super easy access to major highways and phenomenal shopping and dining. So that's five more great neighborhoods in Plano. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. We really appreciate it. Thanks so much for joining us. Have a great day. Be kind to each other. And we'll see you next time. Bye.